And you know, we're in the heart of winter, which means for most of us, snow, right? Yeah. The cold and the snow, it's beautiful. But it also means many tasks to manage and gear has to be ready to go. That's right. Lifestyle and parenting expert Sherry French is here today to show you smart ways to manage the cold weather and have fun with your family. <laughs> Good morning. We're listening. Oh, she's out in the elements. I see that she has a shovel. I like that. Are you, tell me I you're, am, I you're am. my house. Tell me you're at my house. <laughs> no, but I'm going to say if you've got my first hack is find a teenager. Ah, <laughs> I love <laughs> that. That's my first hack. But yeah, I'm braving the elements. It's cold. I don't know if you can see my breath, but yeah, shoveling. I've got a great hack. So when you're shoveling your, your sidewalk or your driveway, quite often when you do shovel, that snow gets stuck to it and it's heavy, right? Every time you throw, mm. I've got a great hack. Head into the kitchen, grab your cooking spray. Oh, it's frozen. Spray <laughs> your shovel. And then you're going to have that snow come right off every time you shovel. That's brilliant. That is that, brilliant, uh, right? That is brilliant. There I, it is. I can't We've believe seen the video. Didn't, didn't even think about that. Yep, there is the video. Just spray it down with cooking spray. You know, we have a we have a, a mud room in our home, just moving on. Yeah. Uh, where we put our shoes. But in the yep. winter in the winter time, that gets crazy because of all the huge boots and all the you know the tall long like what you have right there. Yes, I love to wear these, but you know when you wear these out in the, in the snow, you'll bring them inside, put them on your boot mat, and even the tops because everything will melt. The tops of my boots get dirty because they don't stand up. Head to your garage, grab a pool noodle, grab just some scissors or even a knife, cut them to size. And watch this, stick these down your boots, and then you've got these ready to go, standing up, not getting wet, and keeping them clean, which I love, because I do love to wear these boots, but they're a pain sometimes. You know, I always know when, uh, if I'm in my office downstairs mm -hmm. at home, I always know when my wife and Daphne come home, because I'll hear a clunk, boom, 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 clunk, boom, clunk, boom, clunk, boom, <laughs> because every time she comes home, yeah. she puts Daphne's boots in the dryer, Yeah. right? So the, you're telling me uh, we don't need to do that? No, so I love this one. So as far as boots, again, I was the lady that always put the boots in the dryer, leave them by the fire or even on the radiator on my floor. No need to do that anymore. Grab some newspaper if you can find one. Gas stations I did find is the place to go because newspapers aren't easy to find. You're gonna scrunch up that newspaper, place them inside. And again, I didn't know this hack. My mother-in-law has been doing this for 30 years. What? Who knew? I've never heard but yeah, of that. It will, it, well, the newspaper will just take all of that, you know, moisture out and your boots are going to be dried and ready to go. You know, almost every single one of your tips has a personal feel for me because this next one, I was driving to work this morning, mm -hmm. turned on my windshield wipers because of the muck that gets on there. Yeah. And I remember that the driver's side one is broken because my wife, when my windshield wipers were <laughs> stuck, oh, turned. took the, yeah, yeah took the ice scraper and just completely obliterated one of our wipers and I have to replace it. Sorry to bust you out on live television. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but the windshield wipers, you see them, you know, you park your car, you put them up so they don't stick, all that kind of stuff. How do we beat that? Well, absolutely, because you don't want to wake up the next morning and they're stuck and you can't move. Go to your laundry room. I know you guys have single socks in there. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the single sock, put it over both of your windshield wipers, leave that on overnight. Remember when you get up in the morning to take that those socks off, uh -huh. and then you're going to not have your windshield wipers stick to your windshield. There you go. Why not? It works. I mean, she's always got these life hacks. I mean, she's from Canada. We trust you on all this. You've been through all this, right? What if there's no snow, though, Sherry? What if, what if I'm living in Florida or, or someplace and there's, there's, there's no snow, but I want snow? Or you're living in Grand Rapids and want something to do with the kids on the weekend. There so let's make some snow. This is so easy and so fun. You're going to grab some baking soda from your kitchen cupboard. I don't know, a third of a box, half of a box. You're gonna grab dad's shaving cream. Let's hopefully this has not frozen. Oh, no, <laughs> you're, gonna you're gonna spray in, again, just some shaving cream. Use a spatula and you're gonna mix this together. I'll try to do it right into the screen. After about 30 seconds, it's going to form just like snow, but what's cool, it feels very cold. So it's great for sensory play and just to make snowballs in the kitchen on the weekend if you don't wanna go outside. Who knew? Fantastic, thanks for your time this morning, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks, guys.